This video will show you how to replace the pressure balancing cartridge of a fluid F1001B non-diverting valve. To gain access to the cartridge, you first need to remove the shower handle. There is a small rubber plug located at the bottom of the handle. Remove it. If you can't get it out, you can use a paper clip or a small needle to slide it in beside the plug and pry it out. Next, you'll need to loosen the set screw that's holding the handle in place. Use the Allen key that was included with your trim kit and turn in a counterclockwise direction. You shouldn't completely remove the set screw, but if it does come out, make sure to put it in a safe place so that you don't lose it. You'll need to reattach the handle using this set screw later. You will now need to remove the trim plate. Our demonstration trim plate removes easily, but yours will be attached by adhesive strips or caulking, so you'll need to carefully cut the adhesive and pry it off, being very careful not to scratch or bend the trim plate. You can now see the cartridge. Unscrew and remove the decorative ring and remove the collar. The screws that are situated on either side of the cartridge are the integral stops that control water to your valve. To turn off the water to the valve, you will need to turn the integral stops in a clockwise direction until tight. Make sure to turn both stops off. One controls the incoming hot water and the other controls the cold water supply. Now it's time to remove the cartridge locking nut. This will be quite tight as it's holding that cartridge into place and prevents leaking. We are using a socket wrench to loosen it, but you could also use a crescent wrench. Once loosened, you can remove it by hand. You can now remove the cartridge by gripping it firmly and pulling. If it's really tight, wiggle it back and forth until it loosens and pull it out. Make sure before replacing the cartridge to thoroughly clean out the valve cavity. Dirt and debris from the water supply line can get into this cavity and that makes it really difficult to properly seat a new cartridge. Once the valve cavity is cleaned well, insert the new or newly cleaned cartridge. Make sure that the cartridge lettering is facing upward. There are two small feet at the bottom of the cartridge that will fit into the corresponding holes inside the valve cavity. Once you place the cartridge into the chamber, move it slightly from side to side until you feel the cartridge seat properly, meaning that the feet have been inserted all the way into those holes at the base of the valve and they've clicked into place. You can now replace the retaining nut. Remember, this is the part that holds the cartridge firmly in place and ensures that the valve doesn't leak, so it's really important that it's tightened securely using a plumber's or crescent wrench. You can now turn the water to the valve back on by turning the integral stops in a counterclockwise direction until they are both wide open and won't turn any further. Replace the decorative collar and then replace the decorative ring. It's now time to install the trim plate. There's a strip of adhesive on the inside of the plate. Simply remove the protective paper and press the plate into place, making sure that the fluid logo is on the bottom and properly centered. If you already installed the plate once, that adhesive strip likely won't be strong enough to use again. So you'll need to carefully clean it off and then run a bead of silicone along the inside of the trim plate, leaving a 1 to 2 inch gap along the bottom. Press it into place. Place the handle and tighten the set screw. You may find it easier to turn the handle to the side to better expose the set screw. Turn the set screw in a clockwise direction until tight. Replace the rubber plug and you're finished. If you have any questions, please contact Sustainable Solutions at 1-800-460-7019.